So Manny Pacquiao versus Keith one time Thurman did approximately 500,000 pay-per-view buys. Now if you ask me, it's kind of a success, but I was expecting around the range of 700,000 to 800,000 because at the end of the day it was a big fight and it was a legend fighting a Keith Thurman, a guy who went all out doing press conference and the lead up to the fight i mean he was doing a lot of trash talking and he even went as far as saying he gonna crucify manny pacquiao so i figured it will at least do 700,000 pay pay-per-view buys due to the trash talk and the fact that the build up to the fight was very entertaining however it only did 100,000 more than errol spence versus mikey garcia and Outside of Manny Pacquiao, obviously, that's why Errol Spence is the cash cow of the division. Because I believe that if Errol Spence actually fought Keith Thurman when Keith Thurman was undefeated, and if he kept the same energy with Errol Spence that he kept with Manny Pacquiao, that fight would have sold up to 700,000 pay-per-views, possibly even a million. And PBC should be focusing on Errol Spence being the new cash cow of the welterweight division and the new pay-per-view star in boxing period that replaces Floyd because obviously he had the skill and the charisma to back it up. And on top of all that, he did great numbers versus Mikey Garcia. I mean, pulling in 400,000 versus Mikey, a guy who never been on pay-per-view. And that fight was on pay-per-view because of Errol, not Mikey, because... We see Errol Spence's next fight is on pay-per-view as well against Sean Porter. Now, who fought Sean Porter and ended up being on pay-per-view? Obviously, Sean Porter is not the biggest draw in boxing. And still, Errol Spence is able to put that fight on pay-per-view just off his name. And like I stated before, when he fought at Cowboy Stadium, he sold 15,000 tickets fighting a guy that nobody knows straight out of Mexico. His number one mandatory, right? In Brooklyn, he always sells out or close to being selling out. But more importantly, he captured the moment. Whenever all the lights are on him, he knows how to perform under pressure. And he puts on a show inside and outside of the ring. So that's why Arrow has potential to be the next pay-per-view king in the sport of boxing. And it's funny how tables turn. Keith Thurman claimed he was the number one guy in the division. He the star in the division leading up to the Pacquiao fight. He said, oh, they mad at me because I'm getting better fights. He even admitted he's ducking Errol Spence by saying he, he ain't mad at me because I'm ducking him. He mad at me because I'm getting bigger fights because I'm the biggest star because I'm the better fighter. But he don't want to get in the ring with Errol Spence. But he the better fighter. How ironic. Now. What I want to know is how Keith Thurman feels now that he only did 500,000 versus a legend like Manny Pacquiao talking all that shit he did during press conference, during uh, the face-to-face, and he only topped Errol Spence versus Mikey Garcia by 100K. So who is the biggest star now, Keith? And the fact that Keith obviously lost to Manny Pacquiao the way he did, He's already out of the equation. If Keith actually beat Manny Pacquiao, then it will be a discussion who the biggest star because obviously Keith only did them numbers because of a Manny Pacquiao. Keith never been on pay-per-view. When he fought Sean Porter, that wasn't on pay-per-view. When he fought Danny Garcia, that wasn't on pay-per-view either. But best believe if Errol Spence fight Danny Garcia, that fight will be on pay-per-view. If he able to beat Sean Porter. And obviously if Errol Spence fights a Manny Pacquiao. It will do up to a million pay-per-view buys. And obviously if he beat Manny Pacquiao. Which most likely he will. That's a no-brainer. He the new cash cow of boxing. So it's a reason why Errol Spence getting called out by Canelo Alvarez. The fighter who's avoiding all the smoke around his division. From Charlo to Andre. He avoiding them guys for a reason. But he calling out Errol Spence. Obviously, it's because Errol Spence is a smaller guy. But since when Canelo Alvarez been calling out welterweights? Especially that 
he planning on moving up to the light heavyweight division and the fact that he fights at 160. But the reason he's calling out Errol Spence because he knows Errol Spence does great numbers and the fact that he pulled in 47,000 fans in the arena his last fight and sold 400,000 pay-per-views almost just as much as Manny Pacquiao versus a Keith Thurman. And we all know if Errol Spence fought Keith Thurman, he would have did way better numbers than him versus Mikey Garcia. Especially if Keith Thurman kept up the same energy he kept with Manny Pacquiao. You know that. Don't duck me, son. That Keith Thurman that stated he would crucify Manny Pacquiao. He would send him to retirement, blah, 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 blah. So, it's still good numbers, like I stated. You know, um, Keith Thurman got paid $2.5 million guaranteed, I believe. And plus the pay-per-views, he probably make up to 6 or $8 million around there. And we all know Errol Spence made that his last fight with Mikey Garcia. You know, after all the pay-per-views, I believe Errol Spence made, I think, $8 million or $9 million, something like that. So, at the end of the day, it's funny how table turn. And they only want to fight Errol now because of the money he bring in and the fact that he's the biggest star in the welterweight division. Not because they wanted that fight, because if they did, Errol Spence been calling out everybody since 2014. And we in 2019, and finally, Sean Porter stepped up. And now, if Keith Thurman do step up, which he probably don't even want that fight either. Even though he just lost to Manny Pacquiao, but he probably looking at an Errol Spence and thinking, man, this dude, if I fight him, this is finna be a massacre. So, I ain't trying to get in the ring and get that work. But if Keith Thurman waits it out, probably to Errol Spence unify the division, then he probably want the fight then and step up to fight Errol Spence when he don't got nothing to lose and nothing to offer at the same time. But I believe Errol Spence want to whoop him so bad, he probably still take it before he move up to the 154 pound division if he's able to unify the division. So I'm not trying to kick somebody while he's down, but Keith Thurman did this to himself. Like I said, you know, if you're going to talk the talk, you must be able to walk the walk. And Keith Thurman wasn't able to do so. So subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute. If you're trying to get dumb by the second, don't and listen to these casual ass fans. And also follow on Toon Boxing for the funniest boxing memes on Instagram. And follow me at IKTV on the description box below. And I would say one thing that maybe the fight didn't sell as much as it should have because fans didn't want to see Pacquiao lose. And they thought Keith Thurman was actually going to send Manny Pacquiao to retirement. But if they knew if Manny Pacquiao actually had it in him to beat Keith Thurman and had one left, then they probably will have sold more pay-per-views. So who knows? Anyways, to be continued on the next Aki episode. And peace and we out of here.